Did you hear anything from Mines Gaming? I haven't, no. Um, but I was telling Eclipsing um, that we could like do a lot with this like story. So like, you know, somehow we got to introduce like Eclipsing Binary as like a band in the world. Like, um, I don't know how you want to do it. Like. I have no clue. <laughs> you could do it um, like... I was talking with Bob Dub about the uh, dude, where's my wallet? Oh, yeah? <laughs> whole thing. Oh, yeah? That yeah, yeah, sounds yeah. great. Yeah. Um, how how was, um, what do you call it, the uh, Mines Fest? Oh, wow. Yes, tell us A about whirlwind. That. Just crazy experience. Just so fast, you know? Yeah, yeah. It was hard to hard to like remember everything and take in the experience. Like, wow, I'm still trying to process it. Yeah. Uh, what panel were you on? The first panel. So it was kind of lame as far as like me and John G and whoever going up on the panels. So they had like they started the discussion. And it was like an hour long of changing minds. Like, what, what would you change your mind about? Or what have you changed your mind about? Or some shit. And they went all on the panel. I would change and my then they mind had us up to this panel. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> and then they had uh, Lucy. Think with Lucy on. Which she's like a newcomer to minds. Okay. Like been there for a month and somehow she got on the thing and she had a good little you know they're talking about uh, positive uh, freedom versus negative freedom okay. mm -hmm. and that was like a five or ten minute thing and then they had me on and then I was on there for maybe five minutes and then it, it, like I said it was just so fast like I was just starting to get into the conversation yeah. and they cut it off. Yeah. Like, okay, we're going to move on to the next person. So for it to be the minds fest and they're talking about changing minds, but they only bring somebody from the actual minds community on for five minutes yeah. out of, uh, it started at six in the afternoon and it went until, 10 45 11 something like that yeah so good four hours of conversation that the minds community wasn't involved in <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah it's crazy very true man. very true so yeah it's like i heard uh, alex jones had like two hours so you know so yeah that's what i'm saying lines, i guess <laughs> Yeah, right. So that that was cool. I mean, I was in the same room with Alex Jones and got to shake his hand, take a picture with him, whatever. And yeah, yeah. Luke Radowski and a few other, you know, whatever. But yeah, uh, as fun as fun as it was, it it was like I was in the circus. Yeah. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? So you're yeah, like, didn't... oh shit! I entered like YouTube or something. I thought I, I thought this is gonna yeah. Be, I thought this is gonna be yeah. mines. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. You're in the reality TV at that point. Man. Yeah. Right. And I think sweet. I think that's what I want to play with with like, dude, where's my wallet? <laughs> like we're filming like a okay. like a weird uh, reality TV show that's in like this virtual space and that yeah, yeah. and then like the narrator is um the ai you know what i mean uh so like but it, i think that that should be uh bob's role like she reads the narration oh yeah and then we just we just uh keep on implying uh, as jokes and in the writing that the the narrator is an ai and that like it's actually not bob but it is the AI that is like mimicking her voice, but it's actually not. It's just her, you know? <laughs> no, yes. yes. <laughs> As a little trick, you know? You gotta, have, you gotta have fun with it. You gotta fucking freak about. <laughs> she does sound like a generated 
voice type thing. Well, you know, I, when I... You're talking about Bob Dub? Yeah, yeah. Well, I, when I heard her, um, you know, interview Minds Gaming, it was like, oh, man, uh, like, it was good. And nice she was man. asking a lot of questions, but, like, what you were saying, like, she's very... Um, I think she's, like, plans out, like, what she says or something. You know what I mean? Yeah, she's very uh, clear yeah. and articulate with her speech. And yeah. like I said, I could listen to her all day. She's just it's like, wow. Yeah. I don't know. Bumping along. <laughs> yeah, it's cool. Yeah. Oh, and uh, actually, oh, uh, he, disappeared. he disappeared to see he, he, a glitch in the Matrix. Oh, oh no. <laughs> it's coming for us, bro. <laughs> it's taking us out one by one. No. <laughs> Oh no! I I I think him and uh, Chris and Bob uh, had a had a, a podcast or whatever, right? Today, yes, I think so. Yeah. Yeah, 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 I think so. And then she said she was on um, censorship um, sucks or whatever. Yeah. Yes, I think she said she was going to be there. Oh, there he's it's over there. Me. He's over there by the club. <laughs> by the club. <laughs> I see you off in the distance. It's so funny to see him come near. Hey, hey. Hey. <laughs> yeah, if I get, I guess if I don't touch the screen very often, it just like th- kicks me out. Yeah. Uh, yeah on, the phone, on the phone. So. You guys, you guys want to go over to the ramen place over here? Watch. Go over here to the ramen. I go behind the room and play. Is this the ramen bar? Yeah, this is the ramen bar. Nice. And then we got the aliens back here. Yep, it's a trippy ass room. Yeah. Oh, you know what I was uh, telling Eclipsing is that what would be fun is I mean I think that's what we do. I gotta I'll talk to Minds Gaming about this. But, um, you know, build up our memberships. But, like, we put um, what prompts we're using to generate what we're doing. <laughs> so, mm-hmm. so then we could build upon it. Like, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> because I was just telling him how I, I was saying, hey, I want to build out the ba- the backstory to the character Dan. And uh, Dan is half uh, um, old dirty bastard and half Hunter S. Thompson. And, you know, the first couple ones are lame, but then there's a few ones that are pretty good. And they're pretty funny. <laughs> Should, like, there's when, something uh, else I just heard about Dan. So oh, yeah. something about a biblical reference to AI or something. Oh, really? That's funny. Yeah. Do you remember what it was? I, I had not exactly, but I know that some it, it was like something about a biblical reference, like in Revelations, mm-hmm. for. AI and it was Dan <laughs> and it's also like Elon Musk's something something with his AI he's calling it Dan or something oh I thought he was going to call it like true GPT or something like that <laughs> I don't know but, but it's something something to do with it yeah know, Dan, well you know. in, in our context Dan is loosely based off of me <laughs> I got you, Daniel. Yeah. <laughs> cool. And then so, Mike, then Mike is loosely based off of uh, Minds Gaming, right? Minds Gaming. <laughs> so when nice, we're, when nice. we're editing, what? Can you guys hear me? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you now. Okay. When we're editing, should we use that prompt to like write the character still kind of loosely on you? I think like uh, we could do different things with it. But I think one good uh, uh, practice is whoever's starting off the seed one is using the, like whatever whatever AI they want to do to kind of like do it, and maybe they just slightly edit it. But then we just start passing it around, editing that one, like adding our own shit to it. You can add the probably like the best of like whatever you're thinking, but maybe you know if we got alternative plots. Like we pitch that to be the seed one that we pass around, and I, I I was saying that you know also to thinking about like the mechanics of it, like Imaginarium starts off the tossing, so like it you know what I mean because 
if we play hot potato, the one who starts it off is never gonna get the tokens. So it's like cool if like Imaginarium never gets tossed back those tokens. You know what I mean? And the thing, the thing too is, huh? Uh, if that, I mean, if that's what you think it's best, I mean, I, I don't. But it doesn't really yeah. matter because what I what I'm saying is that like anybody could toss out plots or, or stories, you know, that we we edit, and if we're like. Yes sharing how we're using the chat GPT, then we start, you know, building off each other's prompts. It'll be kind of funny what, what we get. Yes. Yes. Yeah. That's like yes, a, I'm with that. I'm with that. Yeah. That's like an added weird layer. <laughs> I can I'm, totally see. I'm like visualizing the, the whole movie already. Yeah. So yeah, totally. It's, it's fun like <laughs> that's what i was saying wow. is, like he could add his band into the storyline you know what i mean like cause, yeah for sure because you're already we're you're already doing some of the um what do you call it dude where's my wallet right yeah, yeah. you can do and, and then like, like later we go oh based yeah off the like, dude where's my, my car, car thing, yeah do so. alternative plot of that my they're they're at the bar and my band's playing and then we we get lost in the desert or something, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. Uh, yeah, like a cameo, like you're in a regular show and you have like a band playing, something yeah. like that. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be fun. That'd be cool. And then you could, you know, play or you could make up a song or you could like you could use one of your songs. Um, I was on this uh, podcast earlier, and um, he read one of my old um, writings. Like this was like in uh, 2017 or whatever. Uh, but anyways, it's about like uh, AI in a sense. But uh, it'll be funny to add that like into the story. It's pretty good. Like I just modify it a little bit, you know. Uh, the, the I've been I've been doing alternative plots about like the AI Bukowski. Which is funny too. Okay, I'm very curious uh, about what you write about that one. That's gonna be fun. Like, <laughs> I find that is, I mean, it just fits great that the AI is Bukowski and it gets all existential and shit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's gonna be great. <laughs> and and then a whole bunch of stuff is happening to Dan and Mike and stuff. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, let me see. 